Who would have guessed that my modern sleeper car video would get 100,000 views in less than one week? You guys must have really liked that video. That's freaking awesome. So as promised, here's part two featuring five cheap sleeper cars you should be afraid to race against. And just like the last video, this video gets 500 likes. I'll go ahead and create a part three featuring five of the most iconic sleepers of all time. If you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. My name is Christian and this is Vehicle Virals. If you guys end up liking the video, make sure to subscribe for more automotive content. Now let's begin. First cheap sleeper is a 2006 Chevy Impala SS. This is a car that kept the old school 1960s tradition of inserting a powerful motor in a car that really didn't seem like it had any business carrying one. Between the regular Impala and the SS, there isn't much of a styling difference on the outside. The SS has bigger wheels, diamond pattern grille inserts, bright exhaust tips, and a small wing and that's about it. You can easily make it more of a sleeper by removing the SS badges and your secret will be safe until you decide to floor it at the next traffic light. But in order to floor it without getting embarrassed, you need a car that can perform and that's exactly what the Impala SS does. Thanks to its 5.3 liter V8 engine that produces 303 horsepower and 323 pound feet of torque. The Impala SS is able to complete a 0 to 60 run in around 5.5 seconds and can sprint a quarter mile in high 13 seconds and low 14 seconds. There's plenty to like about those numbers but there are things that might turn off some car enthusiasts. A manual transmission isn't available and instead you're left with a 4-speed automatic transmission along with front wheel drive. In fact, it uses GM's front drive W body platform that is the basis for the Buick LaCrosse, the Pontiac Grand Prix, and the Monte Carlo. But what about torque steering? You see, normally when you have a front wheel drive car with a powerful engine, you might experience the front wheels turn either left or right upon takeoff. But thankfully, Chevy had programmed the traction control to counter the loss of grip, making torque steering on the Impala SS practically non-existent. You can buy one of these for as low as $5,000. The next cheap sleeper is a 2006 Mazda Speed 6. Definitely a car that carries stealthy performance but sadly was heavily underrated and unappreciated during its two year cycle. Maybe because Mazda chose not to run many campaign ads. I mean the marketing for the Speed 6 just sucked. It's a well put together car if you ask me. It's quick but also has a civilized side and possesses plenty of room for the family inside. The Speed 6 comes equipped with a 2.3 liter direct injection turbocharged 4 cylinder engine that produces 274 horsepower and 280 pound feet of torque. Thanks to its power and all wheel drive system the Speed 6 can achieve a 0 to 60 run in around 5.5 seconds and can run a quarter mile in around 14 seconds. Best of all it comes equipped with a manual gearbox. In fact no automatic version was offered at the time. Kind of shows you what kind of demographic Mazda was going for. And of course thanks to the all-wheel drive system the Speed 6 specializes in traction but it also features a multi-mode active torque system that places the car in one of three drive modes automatically based on how your car is performing in any given environment. Top it off with a limited slip differential and you got yourself a very capable car. And did you know that this car and the four-cylinder EcoBoost Ford Mustang might have something in common? You know the engine Ford claimed to have been working on for years? Hmm. Other than a few tweaks and a relocation of some parts to the EcoBoost engine, they might actually be the same. Just a thought. Other than the big 18 inch wheels and a cute little rear spoiler, it looks nearly identical to the regular Mazda 6 making this a perfect sleeper car. Best part is you can find them for around $6,000 with decent amount of miles on them. If you need a speed fix, get a speed 6. Okay well that was cheesy. Moving on. Third car on the list is a 2003 Jaguar XJR. I know, I know. Some people might not agree with me that the XJR is a sleeper car. Sure, it doesn't look slow by any means, but it also doesn't look like it can tear up most cars in the street with ease. Well, what do you think? Can a Jaguar XJR pass off as a sleeper? This car here packs a punch and reveals its true identity when you floor it all while keeping you very comfortable inside thanks to its air suspension that was fitted all around providing adaptive damping as well as rear self-leveling. You also get some killer standard features like heated front and rear seats, a heated steering wheel, a power rear sun blind, an alpine audio system, and radar based adaptive cruise control. And best of all, it's the engine that this Jaguar carries. It's a 4.2 liter supercharged engine that produces 400 horsepower and 390 pound feet of torque. It can do a 0 to 60 in as low as 4.7 seconds and a quarter mile in the mid 13 seconds. That's pretty fast now, can you imagine how fast that was back in 2003? One of the reasons the XJR can move so quickly is thanks to its aluminum structure which at the time made it much lighter than its competitors. Not only is the XJR very quick off the line, but it can easily morph from double to triple digits at unbelievable speed. Just know this, if you're looking to buy an XJR, reliability and mains can be a concern, as most used Jaguars can be. I mean there is a reason why this car depreciated so much, it used to go for around $80,000 when it came out, and now you can find them for as low as $8,000 with around 100,000 miles on it. You have been warned. The fourth cheap sleeper car is a 2007 Lexus IS350. 
This is pretty much Japan's version of the BMW's 3 Series without it being noticeably fast. It perfectly camouflages in the body of the more commonly seen IS250. Sadly enough, only the smaller IS250 offers a manual transmission, but the IS350 does come with wheel-mounted paddle shifts for those people looking for a more engaging driving experience. When it comes to performance, the IS350 comes equipped with a 3.5 liter V6 that produces 306 horsepower and 277 pound-feet of torque. Can perform a 0 to 60 in just under 5 seconds. According to Road and Track, they were able to achieve 4.9 seconds, while other less credible sources were able to achieve 4.7 seconds. You get speed without having to sacrifice comfortability, and of course, reliability. I mean, it is a Lexus after all. It does come with rear wheel drive, and thanks to its rack and pinion steering gears helps provide linear steering response, precise control, and better straight line stability. And because the exhaust note is practically absent, the IS350 provides quiet acceleration, which makes it that much more of a sleeper. I mean, what is there not to like? You get a fast car with a sleeper body of an IS250, comfortable seats that are perfectly adjustable, the reliability of Toyota, and high safety scores. As an article on Jalopnik put it, a sleeper that won't kill you. Most of them sell for a little over $10,000, but I was able to find many for just under $9,000 with around 120,000 miles on it. Fifth and final cheap sleeper car is the 2006 Honda Accord V6 EX sedan. While this car looks a bit bland in the looks department, it's a very fun car to drive. I mean, that's kind of what a sleeper is, isn't it? With so many Accords out on the road, this car can easily become forgettable and unnoticeable. But what really turns this car into a sleeper is the option of a six-speed manual transmission. I personally drive one of these before and I was able to chirp tires shifting into third gear. Sadly, I believe there were only two years where they offered the manual transmission for the V6 Accord sedan, making them a little more challenging to find. The Accord comes equipped with a 3 liter V6 VTEC engine that produces 244 horsepower and 211 pound-feet of torque. It can sprint a 0 to 60 in around 5.9 seconds. While the numbers don't really sound that impressive, back in 2006 this was considered pretty fast. I mean, even today, that Accord would win against many racers on the road. If you can find yourself a manual V6 EX Accord sedan, just know you're in for a good time. The Accord has many years of refinement. You get 5-star overall crash safety scores, and it's no secret that the Accord consistently holds top honors in the long-term reliability studies. You can easily find them for just under $6,000, and if you want a 6-speed manual version, you'll pay a couple thousand dollars more. This is a perfect family car that offers all the practicality features you need while still having the fun to keep things interesting. Remember guys, if this video gets 500 likes i'll be creating a part three featuring some of the most iconic sleeper cars of all time so make sure you like it and if you haven't already make sure to subscribe so that way you don't miss out on any of my future videos comment below and let me know which of the cars on this list was your favorite i really want to know what you guys think i love interacting with you guys in the comment section anyways like always thanks for watching till next time